So this video will go over the top 10 things you need to understand about Magic Draw's user interface and how a system modeling tool works to be effective. The first thing we'll talk about is the containment tree and that is this view here on the left side of the screen. This basically is the package or folder structure that uh, contains all of the elements and relationships in your model. Note that some of the uh, elements are blue that means they have not been saved so if I press the save key here or the save button I uh, notice they all turn black so if you see blue things that means they've not been saved uh, or committed to the shared server and uh, it's important for you to keep track of where things live uh, where they're being created uh, so you can find them later so that's one thing to keep in mind the second thing I want to show you is the search feature and in Magic Draw, if you click on the Quick Find, we can do a search. And let's say we're looking for Part D. I can just type Part. And all of the choices come up. Uh, I can type Part D. And that'll appear here. And I can click on it, and it jumps me to Part D. Uh, sometimes uh, when you're typing, let's say we're looking for kilograms, the... Uh, the unit type it's not there I can turn on turn off the apply filter and it'll go through the entire um, hidden containment tree as well but normally leaving the filter on works fine and here's the kilograms which are currently hidden we turn them on and we see that we have mass in kilograms is available to us so again searching is extremely powerful as a way to find things so the third thing to show you is the specification window and that is opened up by pressing enter or double clicking on any element and it pulls up this specification window which is full of information uh, it can be hidden by choosing standard expert or all views and uh, that shows you all of the basic data fields that are associated with an element um, here's the documentation you know I will I will stress the need to fill this in when you create elements so that it's obvious what you meant uh, when you created it um, there's a usage in diagrams uh, display uh, usage in other uh, relationships uh, ports for connections properties that it may have uh, attributes it has uh, operations which are functions uh, traceability or custom properties we'll get to that later uh, relations are all the relationships coming in and out so the specification window uh, is the place that you will come to do some work and or find out properties about uh, an element you know for example you could create new relationships here uh, we could go to operations and we can create operations so the spec window is one place that you can do a lot of your work uh, either by finding information or by creating model elements so the next thing to show you is there are the smart manipulators and these are basically pop-ups that occur when you click on something in a diagram notice it's got a variety of choices here to create ports create relationships a lot of handy things pop up it gives you the chance to make an internal block definition diag or internal block diagram so basically there's a lot of really useful things that happen uh, when you click on an element uh, there's also choices on the left for turning on and off compartments uh, you can add hyperlinks, uh, make things the preferred size. In this case, we're going to add an operation uh, to part A, and we'll call that function 1. And notice now that we've created an operation. If we press this plus, it'll make another operation for us, and that's function 2. Now, Magic Draw is uh, very powerful uh, in terms of dragging and dropping, and that is the next thing I want to show you. Let's say we decide that part B actually does function 2. We can just drag it here and put it on part B and it moves it and that also moves it over here in the containment tree. You can see that part A owns function 1, part B owns function 2. Let's say we're wrong and function 2 actually is part of part D. We can drag and drop it here and now it's on part D. Notice it doesn't show up over here though uh, on the diagram because that compartment is suppressed. So if we just click here we can turn on the operations compartment and now it shows up. So again, just because something's not displayed on a diagram doesn't mean that it doesn't exist um, in the model. Next thing I'd like to show is the symbol properties uh, and you can get to those by right clicking and hitting Alt Enter and this basically is where you can control a lot of things about uh, an element. Uh, you can change its color, its font, 
Uh, you can turn on and off what's displayed, like in this case we'll suppress the operations and make them go away, or we can bring them back. When you want to control how something's displayed, you come and do that here on the um, symbol properties. And if you, once you have them set, uh, you can actually come up here and click on this, and that sets the selected style as the default. So any more blocks that we create uh, would have that symbol property set as the default. The next thing I'd like to show you is the zoom. Pretty much every diagram uh, has a zoom command uh, or matrices tables. They all have this active uh, set of, of buttons here. So you can go one to one. You can fit to window. You can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, this is really handy both when I make the videos, uh, if you were doing live WebExes uh, and want to talk about certain elements, it's really handy uh, to be able to um, zoom in and out. Let's say that we want to add a value property to this part. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Smart Manipulator and pick Value Property. Let's say we want to add its mass. So we've done that, but it doesn't have any units. So when we click on that value property, notice there's a red T that pops up. That means this value property is untyped. So if we click the T, it now gives us a list of all the units that are available in the model by definition. So I start typing kilogram, and it filters for me, and I just pick kilogram. And now that block has a value property that is typed with the kilogram um, value property, and it shows the units as well. So when in doubt and you're typing something, you can just click on it uh, and notice now the type, it, the type symbol is blue because it is successfully typed. If it weren't typed, it would be red. Alt-B is an important keystroke. That is selecting containment tree. So if I click on Alt-B, it jumps us over here in the containment tree. And this is often useful if we want to locate something for further edits or investigation. So you can click on any model element you hit Alt B and it will jump you to it in the containment tree. If you were in a table and you had selected multiple items, that keystroke wouldn't work. You'd have to hit the Select and Containment Tree button up here. And so that works just as well. It's important to remember that just because you delete something off of a diagram, uh, it's not gone from the model. So we're going to take the external system and hit Delete. And while it's vanished here and jumped back inside the compartment, uh, it still is existing out here in the containment tree. So we'll undo that, and uh, if we hit Control D, that will actually delete it from the entire model. So it's a powerful command. You want to use it because a lot of rookies will create elements and then leave them uh, all over the place because they thought they deleted it and they actually had. So just be mindful that uh, you want to do this, but you need to be careful. So Control D actually deletes it, and notice it's gone from the uh, containment tree as well. So something to be mindful of, uh, but uh, it's a very powerful command that uh, needs to be used regularly, uh, but deliberately.